Welcome back to Never Shut Up, and thank you guys for all of your viewership on Brinks TV and your membership to Wally's World on YouTube. And speaking of YouTube, Pat McAfee's on YouTube, but he may be also now on ESPN even more than just College Game Day. Let's talk about the report that indicates ESPN is the leading candidate to be the new home for his daily online show. All right, so he's contemplating walking away from his... Uh, <laughs> A $120 million deal with FanDuel. He's talking about, man, that's enough. I'm good. And ESPN, leading candidate to take that show. All right. No deal's been finalized just yet. We're talking through this. Now, McAfee, who is only 36 years young, get it, young man, has become a multi-platform sensation. Got the Pat McAfee show on YouTube. He does the WWE announcer and performer. We know that with Nick Khan, my former agent. That's my dude, Cobra Khan, and College Game Day, a panelist. But now he's working towards a larger relationship with the four letters. All right. In addition to sources with knowledge of the situation, says ESPN leading because. McAfee recently tweeted out a picture of a meeting he had with Disney CEO Bob Iger. Oh, I didn't know. That's why McAfee killing it and leaving everybody else behind. I got to start tweeting out the pictures from these events and these meetings I'm having instead of just eating all the damn cookies. Ah, I learned something right here. On his show Monday, McAfee said he was up to something, right? Which he said will be announced in the next 10 days. Okay, I know a little something about leaving those breadcrumbs. My wife just did this with her show, and I've seen it happen before. That timeline perfectly corresponds with what? Disney's upfronts. If you guys don't know what upfronts are, that's when all the executives come and all the marketing people and the ads and brands and sponsors, they sit in a room and then they say, guess what's coming to our lineup? This. And it's some new shows and then some of the old shows, but new versions or new additions, et cetera. Just to get everyone excited to spend that dough on the network and on those shows. So those announcements of Disney's upcoming company wide programming are scheduled for May 16th. So maybe my May 17th on this show, we'll be talking about Pat McAfee to ESPN. All right. To Zach Mount. Whatever that amount is, McAfee would earn in the deals, not known yet, but it's expected to be eight figures, right? You got Aikman over there. You got Buck over there making those eight figure deals. Stephen A is making an eight figure deal. Uh, McAfee going to go past Greenberg um, and land somewhere in between those guys, I would assume, if not surpass all of them, depending on the extent of the deal and services. All right. Now, it may be less, probably is going to be less than that FanDuel $30 million deal a year. He'll be walking away from that. Okay, here we go. Now, let's get into the thick of things because it comes at a time when Disney, including ESPN, is shedding 7,000 jobs. All right. So in terms of optics, may be difficult for some to look at Disney and ESPN cutting all those jobs at the same time watching this deal go through. Now, why I say difficult for some? Because it's not difficult for all. You still have to invest in your business even if you're shedding. It's weird, right? Kind of like when you, you ever do landscaping or horticulture uh, and you got your roses, you got to trim them down and then watch them bloom, right? So you got to do some trimming. Split ends. You ever hear your girl say, I got to cut my split ends. And you're like, why, why are you cutting your split ends? You're cutting your hair, basically, so it can grow, right? Same dynamic going on here. So ESPN executives have said that it will only do a McAfee deal if it pencils out and it can make money which is interesting because right now his model of making money was through YouTube and through his viewership, his membership and all of that. Plus, bam, cherry on top, more than the cherry on top, the fan duel deal, right? That's where all the money came from. Well, at ESPN is a different dynamic, so they got to make sure that that is going to be cash flow positive. ESPN will now report, now report its earnings. Remember before, they didn't have to report it. They're doing that now as a breakout division. So you're going to see it explicitly, explicitly ESPN's earnings in November. All right. And under that new structure, 
Iger's return to the company is making sure that all these things are separate so that he can know and then everyone can see full transparency. All right. So he got his daily show. He got his game day. No exact deals are on the table. We know he has a three hour daily program, right? Is he going to do a three hour daily program on ESPN? Y'all be real. Don't see that. Some are saying it may be just a one hour deal on ESPN and then the other two hours of the full show still lives on YouTube. But now you're thinking ESPN, did we want it all on YouTube? How much do we put on YouTube? ESPN has this YouTube channel as well, but how much are we going to give to that? And how much are we going to keep proprietary so that we can make sure we make money with Pat McAfee? Okay. So then everybody's going to be a part of it. ESPN audio, more than likely some podcasts, for the crew, et cetera. They're going to build this all up because you know McAfee always talking about the brand. So now the brand is going to have to be a part of this and everyone has to get elevated. Okay. Now, why is this happening in the first place? Well, Pat McAfee, we saw the fan duel deal. He didn't go uh, during the Super Bowl, during the ads. He didn't go to the platforms, uh, meetings and performances. He took the little watermark off. He had a new baby. So it's like he wanted more support and resources on the back end. It was too heavy for him to lift because it was all him independent. Right? So instead of like, okay, let's work this out. He wants to go somewhere where it's already a well oiled machine, get money in the world of what he makes and say, y'all handle the rest. I just show up, show out, and then I'm gone after the show. Not mad at that. You got to look at this situation for what it is. First of all, if McAfee can go to Disney and be Pat McAfee, there's no better job in this industry. There's no better place to work than at Disney and to still be yourself, to be authentic. But you got to remember what Disney is. And I'm not one into the labeling and then just boxing them in. Because a lot of people talk about Disney in a negative way, but they don't understand what bi Disney's real business model is. And they don't put enough respect on Disney for what is done. Okay. So Disney, if you're working there, you're working for ESPN as I have, they're in the storytelling business. Duh, right? Mickey Mouse, Peter Pan, whatever. All these attractions come off of a story, come off of content, right? Theme parks, all this stuff everywhere is coming off of storytelling. One thing you got to remember when you're telling the story is that your role is to be a character, mm, right? So what are you going to be in character when you're playing your role in this story? Think about that, right? Because when you're a character, are you showing your full character or are you playing a role as a character? Now start to think of some of the personalities there and you're like, oh, yeah, they're playing that role and there's nothing wrong with it. Some guys are signing up for that. Some guys are not. Pat McAfee and his audience, I think they're saying we're not signing up to play a character. We're going to show you our character. Or maybe this is the time to pivot. Maybe this is the time for a switch. Is Pat McAfee going to go to Disney and curse? Not on ESPN, right? All them MFs and all them bombs he throw, that ain't working on there. Will it work on ESPN Plus? I don't even know that answer. But the point is that show, the way it is and currently exists, wouldn't work on ESPN to the fullest, right? So something has to change. Is it going to still be full expression of his character? Or is it going to now be a role and he's going to play a character? That's interesting. Also, will it get Disney-fied, right? Beyond the character and the role, there's just this soft softening that comes when you're on ESPN, right? Like, we're all getting along. We're all good. Even when we're going at it like this, oh, man, we're good, right? And frankly, that's not necessarily what Pat McAfee's show has always been about. His show has just been about, let's just be real. Let's just be who we are. Let's just have some fun. And we're not going to have to make up if there's an issue. And we're also not going to beef with no issue, right? We're not going to make stuff up. We're just going to be. 
And that's what I love about watching this show. It's just like dudes hanging. Oh, yeah, we, we talking about the game. Oh, yeah, we talking about sports. Oh, yeah, I'm talking about you. And it's just like, that's how dudes are. That's how people are. So when you get into the Disney sphere, all of a sudden, that changes. Like, there has to be an intended outcome. I wonder how that will play in Pat McAfee's mind as well. So, all of this adds up to me saying, hell yeah, you should go. If the money's right, and I don't mean the same, I mean right. Because at a certain point, look, everybody wants every penny they can get. But at a certain point, your life won't change. Now, generations of your family's life will change. Your cousin's cousin's will life, his, cha- his life will change. But your life, you already got the car. You already got the boat. You already got what you need in vacation. Like, what else can you do? Now you're just stacking it up and getting it out. To the generations that you will have going forward especially that baby girl you just had right so all of that stuff makes sense go if you can be yourself go get the dough but keep your show because what happens is a lot of times people go somewhere else and they forget about the audience they forget about how the audience is linked to their authenticity whatever that may be so i'm looking forward to seeing what this what, what shapes of this uh may 16th we here So May 17th, looking forward to doing a Pat McAfee show about him, hopefully going to ESPN.